Hey all, it's Alex again. And as of yesterday, it's going to be just three months until my top surgery date at uh, McLean Clinic in Mississauga. So that's going to be on January 4th. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to stop wearing binders every day and stop just worrying about stupid things like, oh, I worked all day, so that's an eight-hour day in a binder. I guess I can't go out tonight <laughs> because then I'll hurt myself and then tomorrow will be hell. So, yeah. Um, but I'm just, I'm, I'm so thankful that I... I'm going to be able to get this taken care of and just another check on my, you know, physical transition, oh, excuse me, on my physical transition checklist. Uh, it's, it's really exciting and I can't wait for everything that I've been missing out on for the last however many years to be able to you know, go swimming. Uh, it's been 13 years since I've gone swimming just because I didn't want to wear a bathing suit and I didn't want, you know, to... Yeah, and just so many things like that. And uh, so, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, so that is January 4th. Today is August 5th. August 5th. October 5th. So three months. And I've already saved $2,000 out of the 8400 and change that it's going to cost. And I'm going to be saving another 3000 maybe four, before... Uh, it comes time for me to have to pay all of it. Which means that I will have three to four thousand dollars that's going to have to come from somewhere uh, in order to, you know, to uh, be able to pay for the surgery. Which is really scary, especially since there's only three months left. Uh, I've started a GoFundMe page, and I'll link that below. So I've had so many wonderful friends and family and friends of friends and family that have donated, you know, what they can. And I'm so grateful to everyone who has been there for me and supported me, whether it's financially or emotionally or whatever, just you being part of my life and, you know, caring about what I'm going through is, is huge and I really appreciate it. If you know anyone or if you would be able to donate to the page, obviously that would be a huge help. Uh, but if not, if you could just share it, and uh, get the story out there, then, again, that would help too. And uh, so in addition to the GoFundMe page and my personal savings, uh, my husband's cousin, Sarah, has agreed to help me do a bit of a fundraiser event uh, in Oshawa, where she has a lot of connections. And uh, her friend and... A, close friend of mine too, Aaron, has uh, agreed to help uh, by uh, holding a passion party. And she's a passion party consultant. I'm not sure on the exact terminology. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, but she's going to, you know, be there with some products and have her presentation, and hopefully that'll attract some people too. Uh... So that's going to be toward the end of October, so I'm hoping that that will help as well. And if not, if I'm not able to 
raise the funds through my personal savings and through fundraising, then I'm probably going to have to get a weekend job uh, just for the time being. I'm trying to hold off on that because my time is already eaten up by uh, my busy work schedule and by taking care of my six-year-old daughter and spending time with family and friends. Uh, but, you know, you have to do what you have to do. So I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make this happen. I'm not waiting another year or two years for the surgery that I need. Um, it's causing a lot of health problems for me to be binding every day. Uh, I actually had my breathing tested uh, early this year and was told that I have the breathing of a 57-year-old man, which, <laughs> like, I'm not ready for that. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for anyone who has helped in any way and who's been there for me through this. And if you're able to share uh, the GoFundMe page, that is an enormous help as well. Uh, yeah, uh, so three months, and I will keep you up to date on our progress. So thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>